Hey everybody, Mr. Bright Guy here for a new episode of Pokemon Coliseum. In the last last episode, we took down Venus. Yeah, we took down Venus and oh yeah, it's uh, I think I might experience some like just a tiny bit, but the again after the whoops. After the tragedy that's been happening with um, the old OBS with dropped frames and stuff, which seem to be not like for some reason is not the big like problem with it for some reason because it still syncs pretty well. The other thing is is that um, it's been dropping in like big numbers and stuff, so. For the time being, we're going to try out OBS Studio, see if that's any different, and, and judging by the CPU usage, it's, it actually does show, and it's fluctuating pretty hard. <laughs> I, I kind of knew that uh, the CPU usage would be different than the old version. Maybe, maybe I just needed to fix something, like, I don't know, if there was an update in the old version, or something. But, with my new team... Oh, yeah. I might, I might be murdering some Pokemon from here on out. Judging by, uh, the availability of Mount Battle at this point, and, uh... The other, um, Coliseums available. Yeah, I've been... <sighs> There's this thing I like about RPGs, and that's called grinding. <laughs> and from that day forward, Venus was still running away from the police. Oh, shit. Uh, unlock the door? Sure. Yep. Just so we get a shortcut, uh... She went to the left. I'm going to check here first. <laughs> I'm getting away. She probably had a key, so like... If you even tried to go into that elevator, you would be like, It's locked from the outside. You know. So we have to make chase. Whoops, there are other spies. You're not getting past me. Hunter Frena. Frena, Frena, Frena. I don't know. So, for the Shadow Pokemon from here on out, like, I know my best Pokemon are, at, like, at over 60, but I have to be very careful now. <laughs> like, I'm not even kidding, like. Okay, let's see. Ho oh, ho, yeah. Uh. Will bite you. I want to see how it. I want to see how return works here. Uh. I don't know. Uh. Hang on. I'm gonna. I'm gonna check here. Cause return is depending on like how much friendship you have with this Pokemon, and it doesn't even show its power. I want to check what Dragon Breath's power sixty. Hmm. Uh, this is, this is such a hard decision, too. Worst case scenario, I'm just gonna have to, like... It's gonna have to, like, weaken itself out for me to catch it. You know? Like, worst case scenario, either weaken itself out or, like, um, have other shadow Pokemon attack it. It's been, uh, quite the day today, too. <laughs> it's been quite the day, too. No, yes yesterday was, like, nothing but watching Yogg's cast. I even like to look back. 
at like um like to be honest I've actually been looking back at like the Shadow of Israfel videos yeah I I went back that far and that I think it was the music that got me like all of that was just like pure nostalgia that that thing that phenomenon came out like over five years ago and they have they have yet to make another episode it said in the end of the video they would but it never did all right Looks like it keeps using sand attack, so, uh... Let's see what I can do here. Uh-huh. I'll pick you. Yeah, I can... I can confuse it. Yeah, I, I can actually confuse it, so it would, like, hurt itself in its confusion. Yeah, so far it's looking pretty good. Oh yeah, now it's you. Now it's gonna use Shadow Rush. Uh. Like I don't want to use Dragon Breath though. Like, even at that level. Oh, I'm s okay. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. One dragon breath. One dragon breath. Also, a person followed while I was replaying the Crash Bandicoot uh, playthrough. Goes by the name Sokterik? Or Sokterik. I didn't even have to do anything! I just caught it! Wait, what is this? If you're mean to me, I'm going to cry, okay? But I wanna cry- Aww. Why is this guy so edgy? Like... God, he's such a meanie. <laughs> this guy is such a meanie. No one, no wonder he's a snagger. <laughs> um, what was I gonna say? Um, but yeah, Yogg's cast. I think the only playthroughs that interest me for them are Minecraft and Grand Theft Auto Five. Like I would just. I would just sit back and watch GTA 5 Yogg's Cast videos while I'm doing stuff. What the? What's this little boy and girl doing all the way down here? What's Frenna doing up top? Uh, <laughs> you'll have to find out in the Pokemon battle. I, I swear to God. Everything solves itself by a Pokemon battle. Like, so, f yeah, so far it's, like, going pretty good. The peak, the peak where it gets is at, like, like, 80%. And that, that only happens for, like, a short time. And then it goes down to, like, 40%. So... And worst worst thing is about this one is like it never actually tells me when it's actually overusing the CPU usage. Gloom. A uh, gloom. A uh, bee. I was actually seeing my friend Cat stream. She goes by the name of Cat Like Meow. She was 
<laughs> she was a sensation for a while with her vlog videos. I don't know what happened to... I don't know what happened with, like, making more. But I think she was getting set for, like, streaming. Oh, Stantler. Oh, yeah, it's Stantler. That's one of those Pokemon that rarely even knows, like, really good moves, other than takedown. Wait, that miss? <laughs> that freaking missed. <laughs> you missed! Um. I'm gonna switch. Let's go with Yanma this time. Also, I thought I healed myself. I thought I healed myself uh, when I went back up there. Do it, Yanma! Also, I think I'm just like fluctuating with like extra team members right here. Cause like... This is like a really short... This is probably like the shortest RPG of a Pokemon game there is. You know what I think? You know what I think they were doing? They were testing. Like, how a battle simulator like this would work on a console. But why have it where you won't even showcase... Actually, yeah, you can showcase all 386 Pokemon. But, like, why make the story so short? Oh, goodness. Never mind. I'll just... It's gonna kill itself even more. Also, uh... Is... Is the video fine, actually? Because, like... I am trying to, like, disable the interlacing. But, like, I think it's doing it itself. Bubble beam. Yeah, I think it's, like, doing it itself. For some reason. Oh, wait, it does Morning Sun itself? It doesn't... It's not, like, a healer move for other Pokemon? <laughs> and yeah, like I said, knows nothing else other than takedown as its best move. If you would want to have it learn something like Double Edge. Here, let's see. Oh, goodness. Yeah, buddy. There's always like Pokemon Shuffle news as well. Didn't even think that game is still... It's like a Pokemon Trousy, like, sequel. And I've, I still never, like, hear about it. Um... Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald. Pokedex. Stantler. Yeah, let's see here. Yeah. The only... Wow, Takedown has 90 power? And that's like its best move. Other than like TM moves, where it can learn like Solar Beam, Thunderbolt, Thunder Earthquake, Psychic, Shadow Ball. To uh, toxic. If you want to have it learn Double Edge, you gotta have a move tutor. And that's like even better than Takedown. So it's like best move for leveling up is takedown. That's like that's like a medium move for when you're progressing Pokemon. It's like when you're say you have like a random starter like Mukip, you would um, you would find like tackle, water gun. Actually, it learns takedown a bit early. 
these days. <laughs> so yeah, like, let me, uh, by the way, I caught Stantler. Yay! Caught Stantler. Um, my kip. Oh no, it learns takedown by level 36. So yeah, like, when you have Mudkip, you would see moves like Mud Slap, Water Gun, Tackle, apparently Bide. It knows Rock Throw? Holy crap. I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, like Bide, Mud Slap, Water Gun, and Tackle are your main moves. And then when it evolves into March Stomp, it knows like medium level moves like takedown, rock throw. Um Actually it doesn't know a lot here. Actually, wait. <laughs> wait a minute. Here we go. Mud bomb, rock slide, uh muddy water, and takedown. And then when it evolves into Swampert, it would know like lo like higher leveled moves like Hammer Arm, Earthquake, Endeavor, and so on. And that, and by then you can learn like even better moves like uh, um. Actually, actually, egg moves are like secret moves. It can actually learn avalanche. Well, I figured it would learn like ice moves, like ice beam and blizzard, and even ice punch. Yeah, we'll just keep going then. Wait, what's in here? Is this is an item room. Yes, it is. Ta-da! You found timer balls. I think I remember... Actually, never mind. Max potions. Oh, that's nice. That's... Oh, that's lovely. <laughs> Would you... Okay. Weird thing about this. Max potion only costs like 2,500. But only fully restores your Pokemon. Full restore? Fully restores your Pokemon and their status conditions, including confusion. And it costs $500 more. <laughs> Which is kind of a more. kind of a ripoff. But. that makes sense. <clears throat> Right. Rem I remember this Pokemon having like, like is this octopus on acid or something? What's the, what the hell is going on with this thing? <laughs> what the hell is going on with the Octillery? I I know I make my videos pretty quick now. Like I don't even, I don't even do like even more editing parts other than like cutting stuff. But like. You should really think about like making more counters or something like like for this let's play for instance like have um take a point every time a pokemon has a seizure <laughs> I, w I wonder what the animators were thinking about pokemon like that like the beldum and uh matang and I'm pretty sure Metagross also does seizures. I remember uh, Piloswine being one of my favorite Pokemons. <laughs> ever since, ever since Mammal Swine came out, I was like, oh fuck yeah, I would want a mammoth. I would want a mammoth Pokemon. All right, I'm gonna have to weaken it. It probably knows takedown as well. Also, am I being a bit loud on the mic? No. <laughs> no. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, 
Let's see Pilo Swine's moves. Oh, there's that encoder overload. That's because I keep opening the the thing. Never mind, we're not gonna we're not gonna know. We're not gonna know its move set. I'm I'm gonna open it up anyways. How is this so easy now? I thought it'd be like I thought it'd be like normal difficulty, but wow. Didn't think Did we catch both like st No, actually Stantler was like two or three tries. I think Gligar and Mammal Swine were like one shot. What the hell? And I thought this was going to be a bit harder.